hello this is Gabin from design tribe and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to change your colors in Photoshop I mean any color in Photoshop this is an example like something like this to this in just a very few simple steps so mind you the technique I'm about to show you is different from the hue and saturation technique which just entails you creating the hue and saturation adjustment layer and you manipulate your color from here so you see in this case we cannot easily achieve that because the background layer has a similar color to the jacket and the glasses the lady is putting on equally has the same color from the background so whenever you are trying to change that color everything is going to change even the color on her face to actually change because there was some reflection from the background color onto her face so what you want to do right now is to create a mask or a selection around her dress so that you'll be able to use that selection to do your adjustments so we are going to do that by using the quick selection tool so I'll just go up here and I select my quick selection tool once that is selected I just click and begin to select make a selection round oops just make a selection like this like this like this okay So you want to be very sure that your selection is accurate. So you have to take your time to do this. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to speed everything up so we don't waste time on this. So that is it. Hold art to reduce subtract selection once that is done I'm then going to continue or subtract this area to And we want to increase this part like that and this part too so I think our selection is good once my selection is done what I want to do now is to create a solid color adjustment layer with that selection and I take OK once a solid color adjustment layer is created I want to also create a curves adjustment layer because sorry levels adjustment layer because in this video we are going to be using the curves and the solid color adjustment layer to make our changes and on the solid color adjustment layer I will change the blending mode to color once I've changed it to color now you realize that the color is already applied on the dress but what I want to do, if you look critically, you realize that this inner part of her dress, this part, this area, is still having the orange color that we used from the beginning. So what I want to do here is to create another selection of this part of her body. So I'll just go here and then make a selection. Maybe I zoom in a little closer make a selection of this area once that selection is made can now proceed okay once the selection is made i'll also create a selective a solid color sorry solid color adjustment layer from that with the same color so once that is done i'll just move it up a little so this is for this uh, white part of her dress and this is for the levels and this is for 
the jacket itself so i'm going to group this two into one group so i can easily modify the two effects at once so once i have done that i'll create a clipping mask on this sorry i'll create a mask on this and i'll copy this selection that we did here this mask that we did here i'll copy it and i'll put it on the group layer and i think yes once that is done any adjustment i make now on the group generally affects the two adjustment layers which are within the group so okay that is it once that is done i will now hide this for now and assuming that we wanted to get the color say a red color maybe a black color maybe we wanted to change that color to black this is what we are going to do so on this selective color here i'm going to come to by blacks here there yeah, select my color and pick a dark shade of the color not something too black something like this once i pick that black shade now i'll come to my curves adjustment layer and i'll bring down this bright area when you bring down this bright area you see it begins to bring in a dark feel to the general colors of the layer and you want to step this up a little so everything doesn't look too dark and also you can work with this sliders up here adjust them to when you have uh, a realistic result so i think we are almost getting a good black color just adjust the sliders a little I think I can bring this down again so you now see we already have a black a black jacket and the problem now is you see this part is looking orange which is not real so what we have to do is we also make sure we have the same color which we selected for this part here so when i select that color i'll just go to my blend mode change it to color and you see automatically you see the shadow here now becomes black instead of orange as it was before so if i want to change this color to maybe something red i just need to double click here and i maybe pick the same color on her lip that is too red maybe something like this then i'll just need to go and tweak my curves adjustment layer a little maybe bring my brightness up modify this So it's also just about playing with these sliders. As you play with these sliders, you get to have colors that you want. If that color is not what you really want, you can maybe take a darker shade of it, like this, and it's easy like that. So that is how you change any color in Photoshop. If you enjoyed this video please do well to support me by liking my video subscribe to my channel if you have any questions with regards to this tutorial you can drop your question in the comments section and i'm going to do my best to answer your question see you in the next video